Hey friends, today we're starting the real playthrough of Toymaker, a dark Christmassy themed RPG all about this god named the Toymaker. Now there is a prologue episode that we did play through, so it's optional, but you can watch it before we start here. But this right here is the official beginning of the main saga. If something like Fear and Hunger is Halloween, then Toymaker is Christmas. Like I said in the last prologue episode, this game is basically new. Like, it came out in 2017, but I can't find a single playthrough of this game on the internet, and there's only like seven Steam reviews. This is a new experience for me, and likely for you. Let's cherish this time that we can spend together. After all, regardless of what you celebrate, that's what the holidays are about, right? Spending time with the people you care about, putting aside the things that stress you out or are a negative influence in your life, focusing on life's nostalgic beauty, and looking toward the next year and thinking about how you can make it your best year yet. Every year is a new opportunity. Every month, every week, every day is a new opportunity. Never give up. There is always a chance to change. I love you guys very much, and I am completely honored that you would choose me to experience this new game with. With that being said, this is Toymaker. And with that, we start a new saga of the main game. I'm very interested to see what happens to some of the characters that we saw in the prologue. Oh man, this is exciting. And I really want to learn more about the toy maker himself. I think he's supposed to be like the Santa Claus figure of this universe, but this game is filled to the brim with lore. So, um, discovering that together is going to be very, very fun. Now, I'm obviously going to do shorts of this. In fact, if you're finding this playthrough, maybe you've seen one of the shorts I've done. But discovering a lot of this together with you guys in real time is going to be very exciting for me. Brother? Lackey, that's a new character. Brother? I think this is... one of the characters in the prologue. Should we say, shut up, leave me alone? I'll say, hmm, I don't want to be rude. I... I hear something. What do you hear? Something outside the tent? Or the campsite? Actually, where are we? In some sort of a tree? Lackey? Hey, are you there? Or nothing? Say, hey, are you there? Apparently your choices do affect certain elements of the game. Um, we saw that in the prologue. We actually had a boss fight that we could have avoided through a decision. Um, the toy maker. I think the toy maker turns... Oh my god, the other campers are dead. I just noticed that. I'll say toy maker. He took them. He turns them into dolls, I think. And maybe they're called scalds? I'm not sure. Okay, this is the first time we've actually seen the toy maker. The prologue referenced him all the time, but we've never actually seen the toy maker. And he says nothing. And all we can see is that character uh, portrait of him. It looks sinister. Toy maker. I'm so excited. And he says the same. No. No, no, no. What are the, what is the toy makers? Okay. This is the end of the prologue. Right here. Balder says cut me loose. He ends up dying here. Cut me loose. No, cut me loose. Say I can't. Do it. This is what was off screen in the prologue, too. He cries out. Keep breathing. These were the same dialogue options. Oh my god, what is that, a bear? The goats. It, it killed the goats. This is right outside of the village. Not like this. Technically, the prologue is optional, but it, it is definitely going to help. Um... With, with what's going on here. I'm not, I'm not supposed to die here. The straw goat marked Balder as the one to defeat the toy maker, but you know, Balder dies here. You, you, I'm sorry. We've never played like a big scale adventure like this together before. Oh, 
over a hundred videos that we never have. And here's Tyke from the prologue as well. Tyke, I, or Balder, he tried to... I'll say Balder, he tried to... Don't you talk. Just... Don't talk. Balder. It, it came so fast. What did I say? Don't talk. Take his knife. We have to get back to the village or tell or and tell the old one. I think the old one is the leader of the village. Um, we can't just leave his body. We can't drag him back, not in this weather. Or with all these bears stalking the dark. For now, just shut up and follow me. Don't you dare freeze up again, goat herder. I ain't dying for your mistakes, not like Balder. So, Hale was the character that we just, you know, were selecting dialogue options with at the very start of this um, episode we're playing right now. But it seems they're implying that Pale accidentally killed Balder. And I'm not sure why. And maybe we're not meant to know exactly why. We have to hurry back before we freeze to death. So back we go. We just leave him there, I guess. Tyke was looking for Boulder at the end of the prologue, by the way. This was right after, um, you know, the straw goat warned us about the toy maker, and we fought the straw goat, actually, because at the beginning we thought he was just malevolent. The straw goat is largely still a mystery. And here are the dead goats. Interesting. So yeah, this, this picks up right where the prologue left off. Wait. The roots, they've withered from the cold. This old path, it's showing again. We should continue on. I'll say roots. They grow strong here, hiding old paths under the snow. It's warmer there. Yeah, this path was not open in the prologue. We can continue on the left path through the cold and the bears that are moving in the midst. Or we can take our chances down there with the roots. Um, it'll go faster, but it ain't as safe. Far from it, I reckon. What's worse, Herder, a cold death or a dark one? So, um, this is something the prologue did as well. They give you options. I fought a ton of bears in the prologue, so let's go ahead and go here. I'm a little more interested in what lies down the root path. The dangerous path. The path less traveled. Hey, watch it! Yeah, it's pitch black here. You all right? That was a longer drop than I thought. This place has changed. Me and... Balder, we used to play here. But the roots weren't as many as they are now, and not as... moving. Now, root is a status effect. Are there root-based creatures? In this game? Well, our only way is forward, right? At least it ain't as cold. All right, so we actually can save our game whenever. I'm going to save over record one since we're done the prologue and we don't even use that file anyways. All right, down we go. Exploring this new area. I'm very curious what kind of enemies we're going to find here. That's a bear. There shouldn't be bears down here, right? Now, Tyke is obviously not going to be as high of a level as he was in the prologue, I imagine. Okay, bleed status effect on both. These guys should go down pretty easily, though, still. Pale does not do much damage at all. The bears have an ability called Eat Berries, which kind of heals them and relieves status effects, too. Herb found. Okay. Oh. The hell? Are the roots growing in real time? The roots, they moved. Are they sentient? We're not supposed to be down here. Uh, I'm going to pick the herbs. Can we go this way? These things won't budge. No. Okay, so... Do the roots, like, know we're down here and they're preventing our escape? They don't want us to be down here, maybe? I don't know. What's this? Nutcracker and Missile Holder. So remember, guys, think Christmas holiday themed. A lot of the enemies are themed around that. The setting's themed around that. It's like a pagan uh, interpretation of what we know as Christmas. I know Christmas has pagan origins, but in terms of, uh, you know, comparing it to modern Christmas or the holidays, if you will. Um, Pale has an ability called Soothe, 
Heal the mind of goats or even people. We'll go ahead and use Soothe on me. Get a little health going. Health per turn. Uh, we're missing a lot more than we need to, and Tyke is bleeding, so we might have to soothe him here soon. Now I'm bleeding too, and we keep missing. Great! Come on. Alright, we need to... Skill, Defile... Uh, he's bleeding, we can do that. But I need... Oh, this is not good. Item... Bandage... Pale. Can we do that? Okay. So bandage does replace the status effect during battle. That's good. I was never able to use that properly in the prologue. Okay, we survived, but Pale is definitely not strong. So we're going to use an herb. Outcasts must have gone completely crazy to hide down here. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a good place to hide, but it is warmer than the area we were in previously. So let's go ahead and use an herb or else our friend is going to die. Tyke is still okay. I will go ahead and save because there's no auto saving in this game, so no reason why we shouldn't be saving frequently. Oh, here we are at a campsite. A fire down here? Is someone here? Could it be? We should go. Who? No, no, no. Let's just go quickly. Who's down here? That's where we came from. I want to know. Who is this? Toymaker, be merciful. This poor bastard's been trapped by the roots. They find nourishment nourishment where they can in the cold. They drink the blood. Does he carry anything? Who is he? Who is he? Don't recognize him. Could be the roots that have twisted him too bad. It's probably just one of the outcasts. Serves him right then. Wait. There's something there. Something... Oh, do we get a piece of equipment? A hood. Doesn't have anything else. Okay, so... Well, we learned... Hmm. These roots might not be sentient, but... They might act like Venus flytraps do, where they have, you know, automatic reflexes or something in order to get nourishment from, you know, other living things. But basically, this area is like a giant Venus flytrap. Like, we definitely picked the most dangerous route to go. The roots in this world are interesting, to say the least. Let's go ahead and equip... Um, that hood. Tyke is, or Pale is definitely super weak. So hopefully some extra defense will help there. Save again, just to be sure. Saving's really quick in this game, which is nice. And here we go. Stupid flint. Can't get a fire going, it's too moist in here. It's getting harder to breathe, we should get out of here soon. Back into the freezing cold, you're probably right, or why aren't you telling me? Say, why aren't you telling me? Nothing. This place, it, it just ain't safe. Can't you hear it? Things moving in the shadows? The air, it makes us drowsy and weak. Is this all purposeful so the roots can absorb us, trap us? Who knows? We have to get out. Hmm. Did you... Did you kill Boulder? What? Of course not. It wasn't like that, or why do you ask? Did a bear get him? Was it one of Pale's traps? I, I... So they're really... Not wanting us to know exactly what happened. Say so it wasn't like that. It wasn't? But you did have a part in it, didn't you? I've heard enough. Maybe we'll never find out. We have to go. Yeah, well, that didn't really help the relationship between... Pale and Tyke. Definitely during these longer playthroughs, I gotta keep water near me. Because my lips get chapped and, you know, throat gets dry. Okay, here we go. Fox. I think for level one, these guys are actually kind of tough. Yeah, they can inflict bleed. But they don't have much... Oh, he ran. Okay. Well, that's actually not good for us, considering we need the experience. And who is this? Frostwind is the new guy. 
Okay. No status effect is good, but we do need to take him out. Okay, the missile holders actually can, like, start healing and stuff like that. So maybe we should take them out first next time. Two experience points, and we still are not over level one. Come on. Pick them good. At least we have a lot of herbs, so if we do start taking damage, that area is blocked off by the roots. And who are you? Okay, we'll go for the Nutcracker first. Alright, they are ganging up on Pale. Good thing he's got the hood. Done. Okay. Can we please level up? No. Why? Right, let's see how many... We do have a lot of herbs, so like we're okay right now. Which is good. Where's our way out of here? I think we've been... Okay, let me... Scout around. Oh, we were supposed to check. The roots, they're blocking the way. You hear that? What is that? What is this? A root spawner. So there are like actual root based creatures here. Okay, this is a spawner. It's probably going to summon more. Again, I love how twisted the um, creature designs are in this game. So we'll go with skill. We don't need to remove heals. I guess we can just fight for now. Summon a crawler. Okay. Take out the crawler. Well, at least the crawlers barely have any health. God, Pale does no damage. Come on. We might have to defile soon. Alright, he's not that bad. Okay, survive. Six experience points. There we go. Finally a level up. We, we should go. Let's leave this cursed place behind. I'd rather take the biting cold in these roots. Well, we already made the decision, so I don't know what to tell you there. We can't just... Oh, never mind. We can just leave. And are we... Back to the village? We're close, I can see the fires from the village. So cold. So this was a quicker way. Because this, this wintry path, we do take that in the prologue. And it is a lot longer than what we just did. They soon almost there, home, fire and warmth. I can't feel my hands. So you just move. Just to the left here. Yeah, we're actually very close. We made it through. Damn it, my legs. Pale? Oh. Did he just pass out? Right before the village. Hey. Is he... He's down. Is he passed out or is he dead? Pale? Or what are we doing? You leaving him? <sighs> no, he's dragging him back. He thought about it though. He thought about leaving him. Graham, what's all this noise? Pale, I need your help to carry him. Boy, stupid, stupid boy. Help me or I leave him behind. Graham's just continuing to call us a stupid boy. Thank you, Graham. All right, so now we're pale again. There he is. What's the matter? Should I say I saw Balder died, or it's my fault? Let's say it's my fault. Don't talk like that. People's been dying a lot lately. Not the old, not the sick, but the young. Just like back then. He's coming back. She's talking about the toy maker. Tyke's angry at me, or I really messed up. Say I really messed up. Don't you worry. We all mess up sometimes. There's been talk of bears and worse coming down from the mountains. Please be careful. Say, of course, Grams. Good. 
I've never once regretted taking you in. You know that, don't you? Don't listen to the others. So they always send me away. It's not your fault, but not theirs either. When you came walking into the village, you scared them. You know that. But don't you mind. You don't scare me. Thanks, I guess. Let them fear. Or say Balder, he didn't fear. Boy. What is Pale? Like, what is he? He's not a Scald, right? The Scald are, I think... That has something to do with the toy maker. Hello, Tyke. Graham. The old one wants to talk to you, Pale. Don't drag. Here, let me use your burdens first. Okay, yeah, Graham heals us, basically. Don't keep the old fool waiting. I'm going to save because... Cutscenes are not skippable. Um, who's this? Raven. It's getting cold. All I can do now is dig for roots under the snow. Always something, I guess. The hidden gives and she takes, I reckon. Who is the hidden? This is Raiden. Raven and Raiden. I heard what happened to the goats. You should have watched them better. I heard you herded them too close to the field of candles. I thought you knew better than that. So, the Field of Candles, if you didn't watch the prologue, is basically an area where Balder wanted to get to in order to save one of the village people, and that is where the Straw Goat is kept. Straw Goat is a terrifying looking creature. And here's the old one. Ah, the survivor. Pale. We need the flock back. Without those goats, we won't survive the midwinter. What about Balder? Balder. He is dead. There is nothing we can do about that. Pale, I need you to follow the hunters to go find those goats. What? Him? But... Hmm? He's... He's... A goat herder, not a hunter. That's not what you were going to say. No. We don't have time for this. We have precious few hunters left. Stay close to Tyke and listen to him. You should do fine. But you also need a tracker. Aye. Go and get Fraja. That's who we saved um, in the prologue. She's out in the hills to the east. Fraja? Yes? She doesn't... No? No. Oh, Fraja doesn't know Baldur's dead. It is best if you tell her, Tyke. Aye. Go and find our flock. We live and die with our goats. I won't fail you. Try to keep up, Pale. Okay, so uh, a couple things I want to comment on that I'm noticing. This this kid is pretending to be the toy maker. From shadows I'll come, from frozen water I'm called, I'll steal you all. One thing I notice, and is making me question who exactly Pale is, if we talk to the village people, all of them have blue markings on their face, including the old one, including Tyke. Um... Pale has green markings, and I believe one of the skulls from the fur or from the prologue had yellow markings. So are these like different tribes or different groups of people? Who knows? I'm just keeping an eye out on the old one. With all these bears moving close to the village, it's getting more dangerous. I'll keep him safe. Okay, thank you, Ash. We have to go save uh, Fraja now. But I do want to see if we can buy anything. Hey there! I've just come back from the reindeer village. Oh, got something to trade? We actually fought a reindeer in the first game. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Reindeer Village. Lies to the north and then west. Have to use forgotten paths, though. Shadows everywhere and strange creatures. Though the reindeer makes good weapons. Ever seen one? No, not really. Big bastards. Don't take kindly to humans, though, but what are you going to do? Nobody's perfect. Can I buy things from you? You're the shopkeeper. We'll, uh, want to trade. Okay, yes, we can. Um, we have 19 TP. We need something for, um, our friend Pale here. Let's go ahead and buy a bronze bow. Um, we're gonna buy... 
a hood, and let's get a leather hide. Oh. Okay, this is very useful. We'll buy snow cure. Oh! Damn it. Can I sell the snows? <sighs> Never mind, I can't. Damn. Okay, well, we have six snow cures. We'll go get more uh, TP later. TP's the currency in this, so... Let's go ahead and equip. Yeah, I didn't mean to buy six of those. Okay, leather hide. Bronze bow. And tyke. We can give a hood. Okay, good. We're actually in pretty good standing here already. So let's go ahead and find Fraja. Wait. The rune stone. The runes speak of the elements. It keeps them in balance, or so I've been told. A gift and a curse. Has Graham taught you about them? Um, say I don't really remember. Hmm. It's said that the Skalds of old wrote down these words to keep the elements in balance. Huh. That's what the old one told me anyway. At first, only light and darkness existed, nothing else. Getting a little lore dump here. Then we saw the spirit that danced in the light. Spirit, the element of fire, warmth, and our soul. But the spark gave substance to the darkness. It showed what waited there. And the second element, snow, came to quench the spirit and steal the warmth. Snow, the element of the storm, of change, water, and of life. And the snow was stronger than the spirit. But the water melted and the warmth from the fire made the third element emerge. From the light came root, and with it life and death. Root, the element of rebirth, of decay, and of nature. The roots broke through the snow, shielding the storm and smashing its hold over warmth. But when the constant change came with root, the cold was drawn out from the darkness, and the fourth element came to bring stability to the world. Frost, the element of cold, of un uh, immovable strength, and of stability. So frost and snow are two different elements in this universe. The frost caught the roots in its cold claws and forced them to stop. It made everything into ice and broke that which decayed. But the element of spirit burned the frost in turn, making it weak and warm again. Thus, the four elements bring balance to the world, in light and in darkness. So, there are the elements. I ain't as good as the old ones to tell the story, but it's good to know. I've seen things. Things that crawl out from the dark, things of frost and things of root. But the elements, they bring each other into balance again. Remember that. I will. We should probably look for Fraja down there to the south first. I know it's a bit close to the Field of Candles, but she likes to go there. She's special that way. Let's go. Okay. Um, so let's save Fraja. This way we go. I think that's where we're supposed to go. Hmm. I think I see some tracks here. Aye, there's something here. Shh. Who's that? Huh? Shh. Is someone hunting something? You heard something, Pale? Say, I think I heard a voice. Did you? Where? Get ready. Damn. Huh? Nope, oh, it's a bear. There's someone else here. Idiots. Oh, it's Fraja. Duh. She was hiding. She was, uh, tracking or doing something. Fraja. Stab him! This is a snow bear. Okay, that's new. Uh, let's see what Fraja can do. Scout. Find enemy weaknesses, gain speed. And now nah, we'll just fight. We have a bow now, so we do a little bit more damage. It can eat berries, but that's fine. Eating berries isn't really a problem when there's only one creature, because we can just out-damage the berries. He should go down here soon, I think. Unless this is a boss. Oh, they're targeting Tyke. Please stop missing. Okay, uh, Snow 1. Can I soothe him? I can't. Or it doesn't get rid of the snow, at least. Alright, well that's not good.
Does Tyke still get experience? 10 experience points. Leather hide found. Hey, ready. Good timing. You too, sunshine, I guess. Strange to see a herder out here, though. Fraja. Can't help shake that feeling that I was used as bait. Well, if I'd walk with that clumsy foot of yours, I'd feel the same. Take it easy now. So what is a hunter past his prime and a goat herder doing out here? The old one sent us to get you. Is that so? We have to track down the flock. What? You lost it? Aye. They fled up to the mountains, and now we have to get them back. We? No offense, sunshine, but you ain't exactly hunter material. Um, I'll say the old one told me to come. And I kind of find that peculiar, you know? Well, where's Balder? Yeah, she doesn't know. If it's as important as you say, he'd be here. Hey, you're being strange. Ready? Oh, man. This is not going to be good. I'm sorry. We should get back. Wait. Why did he die? Fraja. I ain't asking you. Why did he die when you lived, Sunshine? Um... So it wasn't a trap. This is implying that it just... He got jumped by a bear and... Did we freeze up? What should we say? Should we be brutally honest and say Balder fought it while I hid? Oh, what should we say? Or the bear came too fast? I'll say this. Not too fast for you, you liar. Fraja, we have to go. The old one. It's not good. I... It's not good. Oh, can we not? Okay, let's go back to the village and heal Tyke because he is dead as a doornail. Nope, get away from me, bear. Bear in the big blue house. Hey, if we're going to the mountains, I need to talk to Odun. Really, Odun? Why? Nothing, just some things he needs to know is all. Hmm. All right, we can go past his tent just below the old ones. Thanks. Let's heal first. All right, thank you. So he should be alive now. Yes, good. Okay, just below the old ones. This one here. No, that's Raiden. Blah, 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 blah. He didn't make it back? No, the old one told me that there wasn't anything we could do. Not with all those bears out there. These bears are a real problem. Fraja? What? What the hell is going on? Just need to talk to Odun is all. All right, I'll trust you on this then. Hi. Odun should have been up in the mountains to the west. If we go there, we could look for him, I reckon. Oh, so Odun... Okay, I accidentally skipped all that. We found Odun didn't come back, I guess. If we go there, we could look around for him. Good. Up in the mountains to the west? Like this way? Ah, there you are. Aye, and you brought the tracker. Did you find any sign among the hills? Only bear tracks, nothing else. Could you have missed anything? Me? Miss? Don't make me laugh. Good. Now, you must go up to the mountains and search for the missing goats. Aye. You three will go to the highest peak. The others will search around the foots. Of course, we got the most dangerous job. The highest peak, us? Yeah, I guess. Right, let's go. Good luck. Oh, and Pale. You should say goodbye to Graham. Just in case. Like, in case we die? I guess this is a dangerous mission, but... Okay, I guess we should. Say Graham's. You're leaving, then? Figured as much. Well, not to worry. You'll do fine. Yes. He'll do fine, my boy. Say, I'll come back soon. Yes. I remember when you came here to me. I guess you've forgotten. I would too if I could. Oh, we're gonna learn about Pale? Here we go. I remember a little boy. 
all covered in blood. His parents' blood. Is that the old one there? His life hung on a spear's tip. All that blood. They're afraid. Cursed, they called him. One of his creatures they called the boy. Oh, one of his creatures they called the boy. Oh, are they talking about the toy maker? One of the toy maker's creatures? I was one of them. And yet... They taken him back to the village? Then I heard the boy cry. I, rem I, I renamed you Pale after your yellow eyes. He has, uh, no, not yellow markings, he has green markings on his face. Please, just... Come back. And don't do anything stupid. Because I can't promise not to be stupid. Smart mouth. Here, let me use some of your burns. Okay, good. So, now go and find those goats, show the village what you can do. Okay, so... Interesting implications there, implying that Pale is one of his children, the toy maker. Very interesting. Um, I guess we just go here? Oh, no, wrong. Okay, so up to the highest peak. And this is one of the runes. Another runestone, but this one's dark. Good. Maybe the Skald's power are fading. Okay, I'm sure we're going to learn more about the Skald's the more we play as well. There's a bear. Experience is important in this game, um, especially like really easy guys like this. Wow, Fraja barely has any health. She's just a tracker, which kind of makes sense. And status effects don't carry over after the battle, so like that bleed goes away as soon as we kill that bear. Um, let me see if I have something for Fraja. Uh, she's got a leather hide. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so she is very fragile. Which is not good, but up the mountain we must go. We got a job to do. Got to find those goats, after all. Um, so, now that we got some time to, you know, crawl around, look here. What do you guys think of this game so far? This is a more slow-paced experience where we learn about the story of the world. Um, and I thought that that would be fun to do with you guys. We haven't done something like this before, even though people have really wanted me to. A stash. What? No, it's just an old hunter's trick. We stash things in these trees, things we might need later. Oh yeah, the tree is kind of like marked with a leaf or something. It's a hunter thing. Yeah, I got that much. So should we take the stuff in there? Only if we need it. Other hunters might have more use for it. What is it? A bow? Um... Bronze bow. Yes, we probably do need that if Fraja can equip it. Yes, she can. Our quickness goes down a point, but that's not a big deal. Oh, we can't go up there. Yeah, we definitely need all the help we can get at this point. Oh, that a fox? If we can kill it... Oh, that is a swine. Oh, the swine looks like... Kind of dark. Alright, let's see what my skill is. Eh. Take the swine out first. Miss, of course. I have a feeling the swine is probably the most powerful. So we'll fight that first. Eat berries. That thing can eat berries. Okay. So, let's go ahead and use Defile on the swine to remove its heals. Fight. Yeah, this thing has a lot of health. So, it's got an active time battle system, kind of like Final Fantasy VI. Good lord, how much health is... Okay, finally! Hopefully, we get a lot of experience for this. 
because Tyke is losing health. Come on. Come on. We are missing every shot. Bears only give one experience point too, which sucks. Good. That was a crit. Two crits. Let's go. Survived. Four exp Four? The swine's only worth two experience points? Really? Really? That guy had so much health. I feel like we should just take all of these. Like, who else is going to need them? Everyone else is just looking over the foothills. An iron knife? Wait a minute. Um, This guy uses a bronze spear. Up strength and up quickness. Let's do that. Yeah, that's good. Now, can Fraja use a spear? No. Can... Can Pale use a spear? No. So actually, Tyke should use the spear, I think. And let's do... Eh... Yeah, we'll do Fraja with the iron knife. That's fine. Because I feel like, you know, keep him with the spear if he's the only one that can wield it. Okay, here we go. Wait, there's something there. Yeah, someone's dead. One of our hunters. Damn. Shame. Um, We should bury him. Yeah, we should. We should really bury him, but the ground is hard and we don't have time. I reckon it's for the best. His body will give life to the animals here. They're, they'll grow strong and survive the winter, so we can hunt them in the spring. His death will give life to us all, I guess. That's kind of beautiful, right? Everyone wins, huh? Except him, I reckon. Is there anything on him? No. I purposely didn't check that dialogue box because I didn't want it to seem... I don't know, I didn't want them to hate Pale more than they probably already do right now. If that makes sense, three bears, great. We have no AOE abilities either, so we'll just try to kill them as fast as possible. Obviously, they're not fans of Pale at the moment, which, you know, I mean, how do you not blame him? I mean, what really happened? The bear attacked and Pale just froze up? Is, is, is that what happened? But the grandmother, knowing this, still reminded Pale that she never regretted bringing him in. Which, I mean, if you're Pale at this point, you're probably questioning that, right? Okay, two foxes. These guys run sometimes. So, if we want the experience, we gotta kill them quickly. But luckily, level ups in this game are actually pretty big in terms of, like, the benefits. So... You can see our damage is, like, increasing a lot here. Okay, let's go ahead and get some herbs going. Um, and we'll go ahead and save as well. Now that we have Fraja, especially. I like having three party members. I think we can have four in this game, but we'll see. What's over here? Multiple routes to reach the top in a game like this. I'm just double checking that there's not anything important over here, which there is not. Okay, cool, so we can go. They just give us multiple options to get to the top, which is cool. My oh, God, I can't, you know, I almost can't believe I found a game like this. It was from a Dark RPG article. It's a great website, Dark RPGs. I found an article talking about this game. And when I saw it, I purposely didn't read the article because it talks a lot about like stuff from the game. I wanted to remain spoiler free. Look. Something the matter ready? The mountain. He's dead. You know that. Talking about the toy maker? Aye. But it's a constant reminder, ain't it? Toy maker's not dead, by the way. I think the straw goat kind of told us that. Of my sister, of my uncle, of all those children, and, and of your. Yeah. Did the toy maker kill a lot of their loved ones? Let's go. My feet are restless. 
I'm going to get out of that mountain's damn shadow. So does the toy maker just like live up on a giant mountain or something? Eh. Do we want to go up the side here or just straight up the face of the mountain? Yeah, let's fight this thing. Fox. Oh, actually this was... Oh, wait. No, we want to go up the face of the mountain. There's something there. Okay, we got to kill the foxes first. Because they go down the quickest. I don't think the swine does a terrible amount of damage. No, he can inflict bleed, though. Okay. Farage is almost dead. Not good. We'll soothe her. Come on. So you can have multiple status effects. 50! Look at that crit! Yeah, this is... this. God, the swines have so much health. They should give out way more experience than that. Six experience points. Tight grew to level three. Awesome. And we learned frost. Good. What do we get? What is this? A padded shield. Bingo. We know Fraja needs that shield because... By far, the character with the lowest HP right now. Um, Ty can't use it, and um, Pale can't use it anyways. Some husk, because they have two-handed weapons. So if you have a two-handed weapon, you can't use a shield. Which makes sense. Okay. Oh, eh, let's fight this bear. Again, experience is really important in this game. Oh, these guys barely give us anything. But look how quick we're taking them down now. Every level up is a massive, massive increase in, in your fighting abilities. Look at that. Easy money. Easy money. Some car honking outside. All right, up we go. Scaling the face of the mountain. A lot of different... Perfect. Leather hood, right? Hood. Perfect. We love it. She is protected. Good. I don't think we've had, like, a real boss fight yet. We had the snow bear, but that didn't really feel like a boss fight. Huh. What? We've been walking forever and still no sign of those damn goats. Can't give up now, right? Nah, I just thought we should go back to the village. Rest up, you know? We might not get another chance. Those old legs of yours are creaking like two frozen logs. Eh? What do you say, Reddy? How about... Going back and resting up before we search some more. I guess you're right. This peak ain't kind, but I still say we should press on. My old legs will be just fine. I'm the tracker, and I say we should go back to rest up. Pale? What? You're asking him? Hi. Pale, what do you reckon? Let's press on, or let's go back to rest up? Um... I think we should go back to rest up. Because... Um... We really need to probably buy some stuff from the shop, at the very least. Alright, so let's go back. I like that the game gives you a chance. I know, you know, I've made comparisons to Fear and Hunger. That's more just like the dark tone of the game. This game is also a lot more, like, text-heavy. Um, and it's nowhere near as punishing. Ease your burdens, and then let's go trade. Let me see your wares, trader. Um, let's see. Husk soothes the mind, applies wound, applies on wounds during battle. Um, let's see. I think we are basically good. I want to buy a couple of the cures. We'll buy two spirit cures. We'll buy two frost cures. We'll buy... Three root cures, because root is an extremely terrifying um, status effect. Snow stick makes one enemy weak from the storm. Okay, this should be good. Finished. Alright, I think we are well stocked, well prepared for what lies ahead. Let's go ahead and head back to 
the mountain. Gotta find those goats after all. Very important. Okay, we're back. Back at the top of the mountain. And this is right where we were. Oh, we found the goats, but uh, most of them are dead. Probably bears? Only a few of them, less than I'd hoped. This one's dead, broken by sticks or something else. I should have saved. Oh no. Damn, there's definitely gonna be a boss fight. Something's not right. The tracks, they're strange. Yeah, this is not good. I should have saved. Brother. Hey, you hear something, Sunshine? Uh-oh. There's something out there. This is Lackey. This is from the fr um, the beginning. There's there's something to do with Pale, Lackey, and the Toymaker. Are they the Toymaker's children? No. The Midwinter Night. It's coming. He's coming. The Toymaker. Hey, what is wrong with you? Are you even listening? This is not good. Every time I see the, like, the weird... Um, like those squiggly black lines around the screen that just kind of tells me that something related to the toy maker is happening. Mm, did you hear that? Uh oh. What's that? What? What are they? The flock must protect. Back off. It's a cliff. We can't go any longer. Tyke, don't be a hero. Let us all fight. Tyke? The flock? The village? See you later. No. No, don't be a hero. We can all... Oh, no. Ready! Tyke! Ready, where are you? Bastard, answer me! He gave himself up. No. No, no, not again. I'll yell at Tyke as well. No. He ain't coming. I have to think. Say, so I'll let you think. Yeah, let her think. She's the tracker. This must be the gnome forest. Damn, not good. We haven't talked to them in a long time. Their merchants just stopped coming a while back. I've never been here before and don't know how to track. Tyke would have known. He's been here before. But now I'm stuck in the stupid mushroom forest with you. Just keep your weird yellow eyes out of my way, sunshine. I'll get us out. Tyke's waiting outside the forest. He must, must have survived. He must have. <sighs> Let's just go. Oh, no. All right, well, we got an herb. This is not good. Luckily, there wasn't a boss fight, but we lost Tyke, who was arguably our most powerful party member. That's not a door. Okay. Another rune. One of the Skull's rune stones looks dead. There's some weird tracks here. They go off to the east. Hmm. I got no idea what could have left them. I hate these damn mushroom forests. And what are we getting here? Something for the hunters, but we need it now. Leather hide? Yes. We both have one, don't we? Yeah, we got a bunch of leather hides. I mean, we could sell it, unless we get another party member. Let's check up north here. I'm curious. We probably shouldn't be going this way, but who cares? Right? What is up here? None of the stuff we can interact with. Just a fox. Maybe we should go east. I might just be wasting my time here. I do like the backgrounds of this game, too. They're very, like, simple, like, you know, RPG Maker style backgrounds, but... It's a pretty game in a way, you know? Defile's kind of a waste, considering, uh... You know, none of us were healing at the time. Anything useful here at all? Anything that can help us, or am I really just wasting... Snowmen. I was wondering when we were going to see them. We fought snowmen in the prologue. Um, just one by itself is not a big deal. They can inflict days very easily, though, and that's a pretty, pretty brutal status effect. 
All right, let's go ahead and we still got plenty of herbs. Fraja has taken the vast majority of the punishment here. Tracks off to the east and we decide to go the other way. Yeah, okay, we're wasting our time, I think. Let me just go to the east. There's probably like another story section or something like that. We probably do have to go up this way at some point, but I highly doubt we need to go now. This is a cool experience though. Like the game moves at a pretty brisk pace compared to like a lot of RPGs. And I think that will make the playthrough fairly entertaining. This is new for me, you know, so, uh, you know, this kind of experience with you guys is new for me. Okay, here we go, off to the east. Oh, there is blood in the trees there. Shh, there's something there. What is that? That's a fox. Shh. Is that a gnome? Saki? Saki? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Oh, be quiet, you. Oh. Did you just, like, throw some stuff on the fox? And tell your friends. Hmm. Okay, well, probably not dangerous. What's going on here? Um, hey there. Humans? Here? Why? Well, we fell from the mountain and we ended up here. Fell? Unhurt? Yes, humans are built stronger. Lost? What? Are you lost? Aye, that's the way I'd describe it. Hmm. You must be a gnome, right? Do you know this forest? Hmm? Yes, I know this forest. It's home. Here? I thought all you lived in the old workshop. Santa's workshop? No, it's the toy maker's workshop. Much darker and more depressing. I imagine. No, not anymore. Why? It was destroyed. The Frost Crafter came. The Frost Crafter is another being that we heard a lot about in the prologue. And there are frost based enemies that look like they were created by something. So it must be the Frost Crafter. Damn, that explains a lot. Smashed, broken, frozen. The others live in the hidden village now. Not you? No. Well, could you show us the way there? Me? Does it look like I'm talking to anyone else? Yeah, you. Can you take us? You don't see it then? See what? Nothing. Yes, nothing. What do you mean you don't see it? Right. I'm Fraja, tracker from the herd village, and this here is... Pale. Uh... Oh, what is this? I am not going to be saying that dialogue... Dialogue option. Let's say, hey, what's your name? Me? I am Saki. Sake. Just Sake? Nothing more? Just Sake. Fair enough. Let's go. If we get hurt on the way, my home is just here, right by the flowers. We can rest by the fire there. It's safe. Are you going to be a party member? Watch out for snow creatures. Their attacks make you weak. Easy prey. Just follow the road and we will find our way out of the forest. Awesome! Can she wear... Uh... Leather hide? She can. Good. And she can wear a hood. Good. All she has is a bronze knife, though, which is... Oh, we can give her a bow? We'll take that. That's good. Much better than a knife. Unless we had a shield, then I'd go with the knife. Feel free to rest and eat. Okay, so we do have a little healing thing here. Okay. Well, we have a third party member. Right after losing the other one. So we'll go ahead and save. There. I wonder what abilities our new party member has. Okay. Um, Mass of Thorns. Attack all. Makes all enemies bleed in days. Oh my goodness. That is a good attack. Okay, th this may be a good trade here. Not story-wise, you know, we want our our guy tight to survive here, but come on. Mass of thorns, that's awesome. 
bleed and daze? Good l you like you debilitate every creature on the screen, basically. That's crazy strong. Okay, we've been here before. So this is like a giant circle, basically. Alright, that works, that works, that works. These guys aren't too bad. Yeah, especially when there's just one. They're really easy. When they're in groups, though, there's different types of snowmen. Like there's um, you know, casters, fighters, there's summoners. So, when they're in groups, they can be extremely dangerous, but just one is not a big deal at all. Up here, I don't think we can cross. What is this? A wooden torque. Okay. Let's give it to Fraja. What does it do? Increases your mind. Okay, so that should absolutely go to our new character here who has that incredible spell. Yeah, we can't cross that. Um, or can we with the new party member? Let's try it. Maybe we can. A wall of ice needs something strong like ice or fast like the storm to break it down. Okay, no. So there is another ice wall in an earlier section of the game too that I caught. Um, so I guess that's kind of going to need to be a place where we backtrack at some point. We'll see. But like our new friend said, as long as we follow the trail, we will find our way out. Yeah, it's it's those things. Like, I imagine this is how we activate the runes in each of the areas. As long as we follow the trail, we will find our way out. Here we go. This place is a damn maze. You know that, right? Strange. For humans, yes. Eyes are different. Made for hunting, not gathering. I know the way. Just follow the path. The path? Yes. This deep into the forest? Yes. I would trust her. Well, damn. Why are you out here anyway? Scouting? Hunting? You don't exactly strike me as a hunter. No, this is where I live. Huh? Only here? Why? Hmm. I like the way the gnomes look in this game. It is my home. Fine. Don't answer then. That not a good enough answer for you? Her home's just a bit different than yours. Don't gotta judge. We're all in this together anyways. You know, surrounded by things that want to kill us. Least we can do is work together. Oh no. Oh no! Another gnome! He touched her? What does that mean? Let's get him. Name? Ina. No, no. Please, no. It scratched you. I can feel the frost inside of me. Please help me. What's she talking about? Yeah, one of those frost creatures got her. The frost crafter, he carries a curse, changes us, makes us cold and hard. So what, she's gonna turn into that thing? Please do something. Um... Oh, what should we do? Take her with us. Oh, thank you, I won't slow you down. Alright, so she's not a party member, but... Man, that's, that's dark. Was that the Frost Crafter, or is that one of the Frost Crafter's creatures? The Frost-based creatures. Because remember, Frost and Snow are different in this universe. Different elements entirely. Um, we'll get rid of the Snow Ghast first. I, I'm wondering if this was not a good idea. I, I have a feeling the Snow Ghast, or the... The girl might turn and attack us and become like a new boss fight or something like that. Okay, how much health? Okay, thank you. Because our new character is very low. Thank you. Okay, she needs health immediately. Four experience points, pale, leveled up, and we learned a new ability, but we need to heal our new friend here first, and we'll do Fraja as well. Alright. And down we go. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Uh, these guys are great. These guys have, like, awful spells. If there's a group of a bunch of different snow creatures, you want to take the wraiths out first. They can heal. They can inflict status. Like that, normally can inflict status.
For those of you that celebrate Christmas, do you guys have a favorite Christmas song? I love, love, love listening to Christmas music. I'm a big Christmas music guy. And some people might find it annoying. Like, I get it. When people say, like, ah, Christmas music is so annoying. I get it, you know. I do. I don't know. It puts me in, like, a nostalgic mindset. Cures crazy from everyone. Uh, we'll soothe Fraja, get some healing going. Oh, that's not good. Um, that is not good at all. Snow is, is a really dangerous... effect here. And hopefully our... Yeah, this isn't good. Is she going down here? No! Survive! Survive one turn. Oh, no. Okay. Thank God! I really need some leveling up going on. Yeah, the snowmen are, are pretty brutal. Okay. Might as well save. Every time I do something, I'm saving. Saving the game. Because you don't want to get caught with your pants down. Lose a lot of progress for no reason, you know? Okay, we're good. This area is a little more stressful than I was thinking it was going to be, but that's okay. We're prepared. We have a good team. Look at the size of that mushroom. Huge. The mushroom forest filled with snow and random purple plant life. Are we going in a circle? Yes, we are. We have been here before. So how do we get to the gnome village? Follow the path. Stick to the path. Just follow the path. That's all we need to do. And I think by the path, I probably just mean any of this stuff that isn't just snow, like this other stuff. Oh, here we go. We just missed it. How are you? Nothing, it's just cold. Focus on the warmth, keep it around your heart, don't let the cold in. But I've been so bad, I sneaked out from my parents even though they said it was dangerous. Don't think like that, focus on your good sides, on the warmth. Does being, like, bad... What is this, like, the naughty and nice list? Does being bad... change you into frost more quickly? Oh, no. We might have a boss fight on our hands here soon. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm gonna use my skill. Oh, never mind. Of course, a miss. All right, massive thorns. Didn't do much damage, but did it? Did it? Did it, blah, 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 blah. Did it inflict? That was a huge crit. Did it inflict the status effects? Please? Thank you. God, I feel like we need to heal after every battle with these things. Level 5, she learned track. Sake group level 5. Dust 2 learned. Good. Okay. Back to the game. What is this? Following the path to get us out of here. But is there cool stuff up here too? I know it's not on the path, but... Frost creatures! Frost spawner. A frost flyer. I've never seen that enemy before. That was not in the prologue. Let's kill the spawner. Yeah. Come on. Please die! Alright. We are gonna need to use massive thorns. Oh... Uh... Maybe. Oh, okay. These guys barely have any health. That's not a big deal. All right, never mind, never mind. That was that was unneeded. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, these things are tough. Um. Okay. And what do we get? Give us something useful, cause this. I don't need that. A leather hood or pat? Oh, padded hood. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I speak too soon?
Not bad at all. Um, does everyone have a hood? Yeah, let's give it to Fraja. Because she, she does the most damage, like physical damage. Um, which is probably the most useful. Wait, huh? Is that a Pikmin up there? A little rodent? Shh, don't scare it. Oh, aren't you just the cutest? What's this, a little rat? Hello there. Don't be scared. Oh, I'm sorry. My hands are always cold, always freezing. Ah, oh, he ran. Think it was scared of me? Why are your hands cold? I'm sure it'll be back. I think it was scared of me. No. A shame. Would have made a nice dinner, you know. Don't say that. What? It would. Would it have? A rat? He must have ran home. I used to love playing with animals. I mean, do we want to go see... What he's up to? Some husk. Did he run home? I don't see him. Okay, well, we got husk. That's okay. Soothes the mind, I think. Which, if we're going to be using massive thorns a lot, might end up being really useful. Is this the end of the forest? Are we close? It's not long now. I don't feel too good. Can we rest? Soon. Yes. Keep forcing the cold out. Think of the good things. Don't think of being bad. Don't think of being on the naughty list. Let's hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring, ting, tingling, too. Come on, it's lovely weather. For a mushroom forest romp with you. Berries. Good for digestion. True. Is that a fact? Tastes good, too. Humans lost in our forest? Strange. Eh, you got something to say? It's just strange. Why? No humans have walked here since the workshop was destroyed. After Frostcrafter came. Yeah, well, there should have been one more human here. A friend? More than a friend. Hmm. Tell me about the Frostcrafter. Frostcrafter. Old. As old as the Frost. I've heard stories about the Frostcrafter in our village. He used to serve the... Well... Toymaker. I. Him. Yes, he served him. That's why it is strange. Why attack us? I've heard that the Horn Hunters kept him at bay. Once. Not anymore. Yeah, good riddance. They were more... They were more monsters than those things out there. Oh, I see. Hmm, have you met one? Yes, I have a memory from my childhood before... Well... I remember a large man in furs coming to our village with two reindeer as slaves. His eyes, they were cold. As cold as those things out there. Yeah, the Frostcrafter. Sake. Yes? Is it getting colder? Uh, I don't think so. Yes. We should continue. Soon it will be dark. Bye. Okay, we've got to get her back, and I don't know how we're going to cure her when we do. Like, how does that work? Anything over here? Eh, I'll fight you. I will fight you, but we should stick on the path. Not good to stray from the path at this point. Good. Do do do. Survived. Pale leveled up. We feel like I feel like we're leveling up really fast. I feel like the more we dally, the greater the odds of. Ugh. Uh oh. Ina? What is wrong with her? Oh god. She's covered in snow. Focus, Ina. Focus on the warmth. Do not listen to the cold. You're stronger than it. She's come. Yep. Ugh. This sucks. Lowers an enemy's mind and toughness. Um. Oh, this sucks. I was worried about this. Like, should we have just left her there? Or... I mean, we had to have at least have at least tried to help her. Okay. Well, I mean... 
I don't even know what we do at this point. I don't think we have a choice. We lowered her toughness, so maybe we can do some decent damage here. Yeah. See, this is interesting about this game is a lot of your decisions can impact... Oh, this is rough. A lot of your decisions can impact, like, a boss you fight or something like that. Survived. <sighs> Frost cure found. That's ironic. Uh, help. Be free from the frost, child. Fly on wings of summer. Damn. Can that happen to you, too? She touched you when you helped her, didn't she? Damn it, so did I. No, the curse only affects gnomes. We were born from frost a long time ago. The frost crafter made us to work for the toy maker. So the frost crafter used to serve the toy maker. And... The gnomes were created by the frost crafter. I guess that's why they're so blue like the other frost-based creatures. Only we can be affected by his ice. What about you? You're a gnome, aren't you? Oh, no. I'll be fine. Sleep, little girl, and be free. That is really sad, actually. That is sad. That makes me really sad. Very sad. Yeah, this place is a maze, good lord. Was there an outcome where we could have helped? A ritual torque. What does that do? What is the wooden torque? Ritual torque increases strength. Uh, we should give that to Fraja. Let's give, yeah. Quip, boop. Nice. Wow. That really bums me out. I, I'm just like, kind of mulling over is there anything else I could have done some husk might as well right might as well damn yeah we had to fight a reindeer as a boss before because it asked to be put out of its misery and I decided to make the choice that hey you know we can't make that call for it You know, which is like kind of funny when you think about it. It asked us to. And then later we found it as a boss, of course. Heal plus cold defense for caster. We'll attack all with that. Dead. Unfortunately, we are taking a ton of damage, though. Take out the snowman. Miss! No! Come on. Focus, focus, focus. Snowbite. Okay, this is terrible. Um, let's go ahead and use bandage there. Skill. Massive thorns. That is not good. Do I have anything that cures... Torpor, which I assume is death. I don't know. And I can't use an herb in battle. Fixes wounds and heals a dazed mind. This is not good. This is actually really, really bad. Crit. Yes! I actually needed that crit so badly. Um, so how do we... Frost cured. No. Men's wounds better. Needle and thread. Oh, man. Can we not revive? This is awful. We need to get to the village immediately. I'm going to save record three just in case. Please be the village. Yes! Thank you! Huh? Strangers! The gnome village. Wait! You're, you're back! And you brought strangers. Oh, no, no, no. The machinist will not like this. The machinist. It is still me. Don't touch me. 
I'm not moving. That's why she isn't in the village. I think they knew she got touched by the frost crafter and um, they cast her out or something like that. I'm not moving. Just leave. That's why. I expected this. If I leave, they will let you two through. Say, no, you stay. Damn straight she is. She brought us here. Fought with us. We ain't leaving her. You're crazy. She's dangerous. Just leave us alone and don't disturb me anymore. That's why. Come, machinist lives over there. Old, traditional, but still trustworthy. We will go there first. Yeah, this guy's... Well, I mean, I get it. Like, they're all afraid of... Not every day I see humans around here. And you, that's a missile holder. Yes. Hmm. So, what can I do for your day? Some healing? I think you do some healing. I'll need two TP to heal you. Yeah, sure, that's fine. I get it. Grandma did it for free. We... I guess aren't as lucky. But alas, here we are. Um, I actually think that is a great place to stop for this episode. We'll save back on number one. Um, so we're in the mushroom forest. We just made it to the gnome village. And unfortunately, our new party member looks like it's a matter of time before she succumbs to the frost. She's able to fight it off more than... Ina was, who unfortunately became a boss battle, but we'll just have to end this episode in remembrance of Ina. Guys, thank you so much for starting this journey with me. I think this is going to be something really special, and I hope you're having as much fun as I am. I love you guys very much. Please be safe. Spend time with your loved ones this holiday season, if that's when you're watching. And I'll see you in the next one.